fam, this is Dr. Aldine, AKA Storm, and I'm here today to go over the breakdown for today's workout. This workout is called a Tabata, which is a type of workout that involves 20 seconds of high intensity movement and then 10 seconds of rest. Now, there's eight rounds of this type of workout and each round has a different movement. It sounds like a lot, but it actually only ends up being four minutes total. Which is the first movement in today's workout is the overhead squat. Now, like any overhead squat, you wanna have a good air squat. And what that starts with is your feet just about outside of hips width distance apart, toes pointed slightly outwards, and you're going to sit down like you're sitting in a chair. So you don't want to sit with your knees coming forward first. When you sit down, you initiate the movement with your butt. So your butt goes backward and then up. The other thing you're looking for is that your knees are tracking your toes. And lastly, that your chest is up. All these things are important for the overhead squat because when you put the PVC pipe or the barbell overhead, um, any flaws in your squat are only gonna be exaggerated. So uh, when you're starting out, you want the PVC pipe to start just at or a little below your hip crease. You're gonna put the barbell overhead and then squat just like you do with your air squat. And you really wanna fight to keep your heels on the ground and chest up and maintain that barbell overhead. All right, the second movement in today's workout is the side lunge. You're gonna start with your feet wider than hips width distance apart, toes pointing slightly outwards. And this time, you're gonna lunge side to side. Now you can take this as low as you can or need to, but the things to look out for are that your knees are staying out, which is really gonna work your inner thighs as your knees track over your toes. What you don't wanna do is have your knee collapse in. And you also wanna make sure that your knee is not coming too far over your ankle and definitely not past your toes. The third movement in the workout is called a good morning. This is really gonna work on your posterior chain, especially your low back, glutes, and hamstrings. So for this movement, you're gonna put your PVC pipe behind the back and with a slight bend in your knees and your feet slightly outside your hips or just under your hips, you're gonna hinge at the hips and then up. And with this movement, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your back flat Maintain that slight bend in your knees and focus on squeezing your glutes as you stand. Okay. The fourth movement in this workout is the back squat. Now for this, just like our air squats, we're gonna maintain good form, but you're gonna put your PVC or barbell behind your shoulders. And with this movement, when you squeeze and engage your shoulders and your traps, uh, that's going to help and maintain your chest in the upward position. So just like with our air squats, we're trying to keep our chest up, initiating the movement with our butt going back and up. All right, the fifth movement in this workout is called a cannonball squat. So if you have mobility issues in your regular air squat, they're really gonna come out in this, air squat, in this type of squat because your feet are actually starting a little closer together, probably more directly underneath your hips instead of slightly outside. Toes are still pointed outwards uh, some, but during this movement, since your feet are a little, or your, yeah, since your feet are a little closer, it's going to focus more on your inner thighs and your glutes. So with this, again, the goal is to keep your knees tracking outwards and chest up. And really focus on squeezing those inner thighs and glutes as you stand. The sixth movement for today's workout is called a sumo squat. So for those of you that did ballet back in the day like I did, you're gonna put your feet in second position. Um, so again, outside of hips with distance apart with your toes, toes pointed outwards. And this time, instead of your butt going back, you're kind of focusing on your bottom going down as you're going into the movement. And so from the side, 
that looks like this. And since your feet are a little wider, you're still trying to keep your knees tracking over your toes and that's really gonna work your glutes and your inner thighs. The seventh movement in today's workout is called a tempo squat or some people call them, call them pause squats. So with this movement, we're going down for three, two, one, and then up. Three, two, one, up. The final movement in this workout is called a calf raise. So just like it's called, you're going to basically just stand up onto your toes. Now, the important things with this are that you don't wanna get into a swinging motion, and this is exaggerated, but what you really wanna do is focus on squeezing, especially in your core and in your glutes, low back, and in your calves, as you press up into the floor with each movement. All right, guys, I hope you have a good workout. Remember to go hard for that 20 seconds of work to really make this workout work for you. Get that 10 seconds of rest and go right into the next movement. I'm falling here first, so I guess the brother could be flying. And if he say he had you first, so I guess that brother could be lying. But every car got miles when it's on a road, and everybody got a